low level design interview rounds are taken in two formats the first format is a 70 to 90 minutes of machine coding round so basically you will be given a question and you will have to write code for three or four methods or more methods this sort of rounds are conducted by companies like flipkart phone pay meso etc and typically this will be your first round of overall the interview rounds and so and this will also be a filtering round that is a rejection round if you do not clear it you do not go ahead for further interviews second and this actually the first this round is actually used in the pool campus or pool hiring where like 25 to 30 people are called in company's campus or in a hotel and then after the first round they will bring it down to 10 to 12 candidates the second is 45 to 60 minutes of a face to face round so this is your more common round which is used by all companies amazon microsoft basically you name it so let's go ahead and deep dive into both of these rounds so the first round is your typically 75 to 90 minutes of machine coding round here you will be given the problem statement also you will be given the all the methods that you need to implement and their signatures and return type so the requirement gathering phase will not be here you will be expected to write correct code for that those methods interviewer will see uh, how you break the your code in multiple classes and how many functions you are able to implement so typically you will always be short on time for this round because time is of essence and most of the time you will not be able to code all the methods so what you should do is you should first of all do the core features or the core methods for example if the question is design a parking lot then try to first of all implement the park and remove vehicle method once these two methods are correctly implemented then only you should go for the other methods like search vehicle uh because when the interviewer after if you are able to do this in 75 to 90 minutes then the interviewer will have a 15 to 20 minute coding discussion the solution which you provided and they will look for the core features so it always start with the core features here now during the 15 to 20 minute discussion interviewer will see how you have broken your solution in multiple classes which design patterns have you used if you have used it's a good bonus point if you have also handled multi threading that's also great uh, they will ask you questions around that so this is about all this round and typically this is the filtering round uh, so if you clear this round only then you will be able to go to other rounds it will be not like uh, uh, you give four rounds and finally the result will be announced so this is the rejection round you can see next is the more common sort of round which is the 45 to 60 minutes of face to face discussion so this is used by most companies like amazon microsoft you name it so basically you will be given a candidate is given a open ended question and they will be expected to ask clarifying questions for example if you are given design a parking lot then interviewer is expecting you to ask okay is it are there multiple floors what vehicle types are there do not assume ask clarifying questions okay are there one or more parking strategies after you have clarified all the requirements then interviewer will see how you break your solution in multiple classes and after that the discussion will move forward to the core features for example if this is a design a parking lot question then the core features will be park and park method okay and when discussing the core features uh, you will be expected to see if you can use any design patterns for example if there are multiple parking strategies interviewer had said you to that there will be multiple parking strategies then you should actually tell them that okay we can use strategy design pattern here also maybe depending on the algorithm if your strategy algorithms are keeping their own maintaining their own data structure then they need to be updated uh, whenever there is a new book or unbook that is remove vehicle is called so in that case you may also use observer design patterns so you need to mention all these things to the interviewer and that will be a bonus for you after the design patterns the discussion may also move, move to multi threading and interviewer may tweak the question a bit just to see how do you, well do you think on your feet or have you just memorized a solution from the internet so they may tell you something like okay now we are uh, your code should will be executed in a multi thread environment and the difference is that instead of having multiple parking strategies you are free to choose your own parking strategy that you you will decide an algorithm yourself to uh, uh, 
park or unpark vehicles not on park vehicles park vehicles and uh, what you have to do is you have to optimize the that is use the maximum number of threads uh, which can park or unpark vehicle at a time that is you have to code for better or more parallelism so this is how whole discussion will forward and so you see actually if you have already practiced that question or a similar question which have used similar design patterns then it will be very helpful to you uh, it is easy to think that you watch a few videos and then it will be helpful but if during the interview time interviewers will definitely do some tweaks to the question just to see uh, how well do you understand it and if you have not actually practiced by implementing or coding uh, any low level design question uh, then it will be difficult for you uh, because you don't know what are the cases which may fail uh, which data structures will actually be good so yes practice is important in this case also